Hey there, it's Bethany with the Dallas Property Group. Are you thinking of buying a home and wondering what the heck an earnest money deposit is? We'll tell you all about it and how not to lose that money in this video. If you're watching on YouTube, please hit subscribe and hit the bell to get all of our tips on real estate and advice for buying or selling a home. We've helped tons of buyers purchase a home and the earnest money deposit is an essential part of every single one of those deals. So what is an earnest money deposit anyway? And how do you protect yours and make sure you don't lose that money in the process of buying? Let's start with the basics. First, an earnest money deposit, sometimes referred to as EMD or a good faith deposit, is the money you give a seller when you're making an offer on their home to show that you are serious about buying it. You're not gonna walk away from the deal for no good reason. That money is usually held by a third party like your agent's office or your title company and kept in a trust account until closing. If you were to walk away from the purchase without a valid reason to do so, that is, there's no clause or contingency in the contract that gives you a legal out, the seller could potentially keep your earnest money deposit as damages to cover their lost time and money. However, if you go through with the purchase, you will get your earnest money deposit back at closing. So that is key to understand. As long as you follow the terms of the contract, your earnest money deposit is yours to keep, no matter what happens to the purchase. So how much money are we even talking about here? Well, it does depend on where you live and how competitive the house is, but in Northern Virginia, where we do business, the standard amount of earnest money deposit is at least 1% of the purchase price. And here, where the average price point is around $475,000, that's a lot of money that you wanna protect. If there are multiple offers on the house, you'll typically see much larger earnest money deposits, typically between three and 5% of the purchase price. Now that would really hurt to lose. With that in mind, how can you protect your earnest money? The first tip is to set realistic timelines in your contract. In Virginia, we're what's called a time is of the essence state, which means that the timelines you agree to in the contract are hard deadlines. If you miss one, you could be in default of contract and the seller could potentially keep your earnest money deposit. So when you write your offer and negotiate it up front with the seller, be sure that you can meet all of the deadlines that you agree to. The second tip is that if you're going to withdraw, make sure you have a valid opportunity to do so according to your contract. Most contracts do have clauses or contingencies that allow a buyer to eject under certain circumstances. For example, during the home inspection window. So understand these opportunities before you make your offer and pay attention to those dates closely as you move forward with your purchase. The third and final way to protect your earnest money is to follow the contract instructions closely. If you do have an opportunity to withdraw from the contract, there might be specific steps that you have to take to do so legally. For example, in Virginia, in order to withdraw within your home inspection window, you have to submit a copy of the home inspection report when you notify the seller that you want to void, which means you do have to do the home inspection, even if you've already decided before that, that you don't want the home. You can't just skip the inspection and go straight to the voiding. So talk with your agent about the process of voiding your contract if you need to do so, and make sure you're following the exact steps required so that you can get your earnest money deposit back. Now that we've been talking a lot about opportunities to withdraw from a contract, you might be wondering if a seller is able to back out of the contract too. You can learn more about that in our video, Can a Seller Back Out of a Contract? The process is way different, so you'll definitely wanna check it out and I will link to that video below. Do you have more questions on buying or selling a home? Be sure to hit subscribe and of course, ring the bell to get notified of all our new videos about buying or selling a home, tips on how to protect your money, and how to get the best deal, whether you're the buyer or the seller. That's all for this week, see you soon. Hey there, it's Bethany with Fidel's Property Group. Have you ever wondered, <sighs> helps to put the right script on the screen. Hey there, it's Bethany with Liddellis. <laughs> Tell us, I could get my company name right. If you're watching on YouTube, please hit spot. <sighs> First, let's start with <laughs> We've helped tons of buyers purchase a home and the earnest money deposit is an essential Influential. I'm just making up words now. More coffee.
Seriously, why can't I stop yawning? We'll tell you all about it, how not to lose you. <sighs> okay, try again. <laughs>